this boy who's currently being looked after. Anything you do say can be used as evidence in any later court appearances, you understand? Yeah. Tell me if you agree with this. This boy who's being looked after, he knows who you are. And you've done some bad things, sweetie. I didn't know David. I didn't know him at all. And he sent me the script a long time ago and said he'd written it especially for me. And I thought it was a knockout script. And I said, yeah, I'd love to do it. I mean, I am, cause, because I wrote the thing, you know, I'd, I'd be constantly chiselling away at it, even while we were making the thing, you know, I'd be chiselling away at it through the casting and through pre-production and then even on the shoot, you know, such that what the actors ended up with was written. It just might have been written five minutes earlier, you know, but I just, I think that's just, for me, an important, I enjoy that part of the process. I enjoy just constantly watching what's happening. <laughs> I had a lot of confusion about what I'd just read because I hadn't ever read scripts before. I think that was probably the first one I read and then I just kind of flicked it straight back to page one and read it back to back and picked up on all the things I missed. And then after the second time I closed the last page, I, yeah, same thing, yeah. as Sally said. What was it that made you want to be in it? Uh, it's a fantastic story, yeah. Um, and scripts like that don't come along very often. As soon as I read it, I thought it was really something. It was... Um... It, it's got great dialogue. There's no cliches in the dialogue. It's, he writes a very good story arc. The, 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 story, the plot is so full of contradictions and twists and turns. And by the same token, the characters are full of contradictions, which is what real people are like. They, you, you, what you see is not always what you get. Maybe you should start taking your pills again. If you ever want to talk about anything or anything, I'm there, right? Yeah, Jackie, you know, everyone in Australia knows who, who she is. And um, I guess everyone in the world's going to know who she is soon. Um, but she's such a great lady. You know, she's so nice and, and she's really little and cute. But, um, and we also had a chance to bond. So it's very much an ensemble piece. Everybody was looking out for everyone else. It wasn't a, any kind of every man for himself, it was everybody wanting the same thing. And those, those young actors are all so, um, they're so fantastic, each and every one of them, and so different from each other. You know, crime and family, but it's very particular, it's a very kind of emotionally damaged, um, uh, unhinged kind of family that's held together, you know, the glue that's holding this family together is, uh, is Jackie's character, you know, this kind of strange, delightful, um, and very knowing kind of mother, but I think you know another an, another uh, what you know another uh, the kind of crime film I wanted to make was one that was about not just about crime. It was a whole spectrum of people and uh, you know a kind of rich landscape of people who were you know not just cops and robbers, but the whole infrastructure of lawyers and, and innocent people and all this, all the other people at the, at, who think they're at the periphery of this dangerous core and yet who can slip into the middle of it unexpectedly and, and you know, and suffer the consequences. Place in the scheme of things. Things survive because they're strong. We've got to do something about Jay. He's got to go. If you survive because you've been protected by the strong, but they're not strong anymore. Oh my goodness.